Hello there, my beautiful friends. It is the time of the week that we talk about all the new makeup releases here in Pay or Stay Away. It is Monday, we do this every single Monday. So if you are interested in window shopping with me and seeing what the heck is new on the makeup market, then go ahead and keep on watching and let's jump right on in. So this is gonna be a shorter Pay or Stay Away. I'm just gonna throw it out there. This video is gonna be a little bit shorter because I am just shot as far as my voice goes and I am just kind of mentally exhausted after yesterday's, AKA today's video from when I'm filming this. I filmed like a 35 minute long video on the new Cleona Cosmetics stained glass collection and I'm just beat because of that. So we're gonna take it a little bit easier today and pay or stay away. But let's go ahead and kick everything off here with a brand that I believe we talked about last week and that is Natasha Denona or Natasha Denono to some, but she recently announced she's coming out with the mini Tropic palette, which will be available on July 8th and it's going to retail for $25. Now basically what this palette is, is a continuation of Natasha Denona essentially releasing her big $125 palettes for a fraction of the cost, legitimately $100 cheaper, to get 5 shadows instead of getting, I think it's 18, maybe it's like 24. I'm not exactly sure how many eyeshadows she typically has in one of her $125 palettes go, because I have been doing my absolute best to avoid those for the last, I don't know, 2 or so years, because I just, I cannot mess with that price tag. So I have been doing my best to just stay away from them and to not look at them. But lately, Natasha has been coming out with quite a few cheaper, more inexpensive products. Now, they're not necessarily inexpensive by any means. They're still Sephora-priced products. They're still pretty spendy, but they're not overly expensive to the point where the average consumer couldn't try her products. So I do really like that she's been doing that with, you know, a lot of these palettes that were really popular. She's been bringing back a lot of these palettes that people really seem to enjoy as little mini sizes and that's what she's done here she basically brought back the tropic palette in the form of a five panned palette now what i'm seeing from this palette is that she basically took the entire bottom row of the tropic palette and just popped it into this little mini size and you basically get that whole entire bottom row which for me in my personal opinion was the most exciting part of the tropic palette now I wouldn't really use these colors other than that gorgeous cool toned like lavendery purple matte at the end there. That's about the only color that I would personally use out of this bunch but I can really respect and be grateful that she's given us the bottom row of the Tropic palette. That was the most exciting part of the Tropic palette. So many people thought that as well and I think that it's just really cool that she's been doing that. But on that same note it's kind of just like a slap in the face to everyone who went out and purchased the original Tropic palette and only really wanted it for the interesting color theory that we're seeing in that bottom row there. Keep in mind, this palette came out over a year ago, maybe even a year and a half ago. This color scheme with the purple and with the green and with the silver and the blue, that was more of a newer thing. We didn't have all of these super bright blue based palettes coming out. That's more of a newer thing to the market. So when the Tropic palette came out, everyone was losing their freaking mind. So I kind of do feel bad for everyone who went out and purchased the OG Tropic palette just because they wanted that lower row and didn't necessarily need the warmer toned neutrals that were basically taking up the rest of the palette. I feel sort of bad for everyone who did that because they purchased that whole palette for $125. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who kind of hurt a little bit on the inside when they see that she's come out with these $25 palettes because I know that I felt that way when she came out with Mini Sunset for 25 bucks. And I know that many other people felt that way as well when she came out with the Mini Lila. So I can appreciate it, but at the same time, I'm kind of just scratching my head here thinking, Natasha, you're a smart cookie, you're definitely a smart businesswoman, but at the same time, I feel bad for everyone who had to go through purchasing that palette for the original $125 price point. From a business standpoint, I totally respect it. She's a very smart businesswoman, but at the same time, when it comes down to it, I am just a mere consumer, so I feel your pain if you went out and purchased that palette. Just for that lower row and you are seeing this little mini palette come out now, I feel your pain. I have been in your shoes. It's an unfortunate thing and I'm sorry, but at least Natasha's giving us a chance now to try out some of her palettes without giving over our firstborn child. Gee, thanks Natasha. But jumping into the next new makeup release, we have something new from Miss Kylie Jenner herself. Again, I feel like we talk about her quite a lot here on the channel because she is kind of like ColourPop in the sense where they basically release collections left and right to the point where I can't even keep up. But this is her new Summer Lovin' collection. Now this will be available on June 
June. This collection will be available on July 10th, not June 10th, July 10th. And it basically consists of a whole bunch of different products, including eyeshadows, pot kind of cream gel eyeshadows, if you will. We have some lip products, of course, because it's Kylie Cosmetics. Kylie Cosmetics thrives on their lip products. There would be no Kylie Cosmetics if there wasn't for lip products. So this collection is going to be consisting of the Summer Eyeshadow Palette that is going to have matte and shimmer formulas in it, but it also has two new formulas special to Kylie. The metallic formula and the glitter formula, which of course already intrigues me You know anything with the word glitter in it catches my attention immediately But nonetheless, this is also going to consist of three new lipsticks in the shade endless summer Which is a metallic topper beach bum, which is a matte and paradise please which will also be a matte There are two new lip blushes, which are also a new formula to Kylie Which basically gives you a natural tinted lip with a matte finish So to me it kind of sounds like the ColourPop ultra blotted lips or, oh god, what else do they have? They have the blur lipsticks as well. Are there other brands that have like the blur soft focus kind of lipsticks that aren't a K-Beauty brand? I know a lot of K-Beauty brands do that, so I'm just drawing a total blank here, but nonetheless, she is coming out with two of those types of lipsticks. She is also coming out with four of the new shimmer eye glazes in the shade Night Swim, Ocean Child, Deep Sea Dreams, and Aqua Mama. It's a cute name, but these are basically glitter, kind of sparkly, metallic, creamy eyeshadows that are in a little pot. Yeah, I'm very much intrigued by those, but finally, she is coming out with the high gloss in the shade You Are The Sun. Reminds me of the Beatles, like Here Comes the Sun, even though it has nothing to do with that. That's just where my mind goes when I hear that name. So I think that the most exciting thing she's coming out with in this entire collection are those little shimmer eye glazes, the four different colors. She has a beautiful, like salmon-y, pinky toned shade that looks ultra metallic and ultra reflective. Oh my God, I know I don't need it, but it has my attention. She's definitely caught my attention over here and I'm contemplating purchasing that. Now I do happen to have a liquid eyeshadow from her that is in the shade Roses Are Red that is like a cool baby pink that I got with the Valentine's Day 2019 collection. So do I need this little pot of shimmery pink eyeshadow goodness? Hell no. I don't need anything from Kylie Cosmetics. I don't need anything from any brand for that matter because I have more than enough makeup to last me like 10 lifetimes. <laughs> but. I would be lying if I said that I wasn't intrigued by these. I think the eyeshadow palette is beautiful. I like the variation of colors she's put in here, and I also like the different types of formulas, which is new for her brand. It's not new by any means to see different formulas in eyeshadow palettes now. Because like I said earlier, we've seen just about everything as far as makeup goes these days. There's just so many products that have come out that we've seen basically everything, but this is new for Kylie's brand, so I have to applaud that. I really like the addition of the indigo-y kind of purpley tone with the different olive green and with those bronzes and I do have to say that I think her shimmery kind of metallic formula that she's just put in this new palette does look very very nice I'm just going off of this photo that I'm looking at here on Chen Mood's Instagram but the actual formula of these look very very shimmery and very high shine so they look pretty good but I don't necessarily think that I need this palette because I have every one of these shades that I would want from this eyeshadow palette I'm just so on the fence about those shimmery eye toppers because they look beautiful. And I do really like the liquid shadow that I have from Kylie. I just, I don't need any more pinks. I have more than enough pinks, but it's really, really pretty. So I'm, I'm on the fence right now. I'm leaning more towards not purchasing it just because I know I don't need it. But at the same time, I'm very curious and intrigued to try this and to see what the formula is about and whatnot. I don't know. I don't know how to feel right now. I'm very conflicted. Let me know in the comments if you want me to purchase this and try it in a video or something like that, because that will give me some sort of incentive and some sort of push to actually choose one side or the other here. So I basically have two indie releases to talk with you guys about today, and these are both for brands that I've never personally tried, so it's pretty exciting to see new brands and to hear about new brands. But the first new makeup release that we're chatting about is from a brand that I've never really heard from before, and this is the brand Cosmic Turtle Cosmetics. Now, that tripped me up when I first was reading about this brand because I kept thinking cosmetic turtle cosmetics, not cosmic. My brain was just playing all sorts of tricks on me. It's kind of a tongue twister. But they are coming out with some new shimmery, toppery type eyeshadows. I don't really have much more information other than just that statement. I don't know when they're coming out. I don't know how much they're gonna be. But I do have a little bit of some background information from Indie Mood here. She posted on her Instagram that they're basically teasing these new shades and that they are all going to be shimmery, topper-like eyeshadows. She claims that they're very unique and she claims that she likes them quite a bit. So I personally trust Indie Mood 
reviewed wholeheartedly. Her reviews seem to be pretty straightforward and pretty honest, or I shouldn't say her, I should say their reviews because I believe it's two girls who run the account. Nonetheless, I trust them and if they say that these eyeshadows are good, if they say that they like them and that they're really good sparkly topper shadows, I am more than sold. I was basically sold as soon as I saw the promo photos for these beautiful sparkly toppery eyeshadows because they looked to me like I was looking at Pat McGrath. I had to legitimately do a double take because I thought it was a new Pat McGrath palette, but no, it's an indie brand who's coming out with new single eyeshadows. So I could not be more ecstatic about that. I think that these look absolutely beautiful and I'm definitely going to pick some of them up. We don't have a price yet, but I don't think that they're going to be too expensive. I think they'd probably be maybe anywhere from five bucks to maybe maximum like $15. And that's on the high spectrum of things. I'm highballing it here. So I am excited to see these actually come out and to actually test them out myself because they sound and look very promising. And the very last release that I wanted to share with you guys is from a brand that I also have never heard from or tried before. And this is the brand Starfire Cosmetics. I don't know about you guys, but that name just brings me back to 2003 2004 watching Teen Titans back in the day and wanting to look like Starfire herself she was basically my childhood idol besides Christina Aguilera and Mariah Carey and those fairies from Neopets as well I don't know if you guys remember them but they were also just everything that I wanted to be I wanted to look exactly like them I had quite a few childhood idols back in the day that I wanted to basically be I was one of those people who just yearned to be a cartoon character I suppose can you imagine if they came out with a Neopets themed palette, like the fairies from Neopets? I would be pretty, pretty stoked on seeing that, but I'm getting way ahead of myself here, so I digress. So Starfire Cosmetics is coming out with nine shades of their brand new Galactic Jelly Shadows. Now these are gonna be available on July 10th and I do not have a price for these either. I don't know what it is with this week's new makeup releases, but I don't have a price for like anything. I'm sorry, but I think that these look absolutely beautiful and mainly it's because I happen to love and adore the ColourPop Jelly Shadows. Now, obviously what we have here is very similar in concept to the ColourPop Jelly Shadows, but they are by no means not the first person to come out with jelly, kind of putty-ish shadows like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that K-Beauty brands had been coming out with it for quite a while before ColourPop kind of jumped on the train and made it really popular popular amongst mainstream brands. So I'm really happy to see this kind of smaller indie brand come out with a very cool and interesting looking product that not every single brand and their mama is doing. But even though ColourPop has seemed to have made jelly shadows a little bit more accessible and a little bit more well known to the American market here where I live in the US, I definitely think that it's a cool idea that this indie brand has come along and basically taken the idea and made something really fun out of it, made some really interesting colors. Like they have a black shade that looks to be either a sparkly black or a matte black. I can't really tell by the swatches, but it looks really interesting. And they also have a pure white shade, which I've never seen a jelly shadow in a pure white or in a pure black. And Starfire Cosmetics has went ahead and done that. They've beaten everyone to the punch as far as that goes. But you guys know me, you already know which color I am going to probably be picking up from this collection and that of course is that beautiful hot shimmery pink goodness that we see there which is the shade Luna which is a really cute name as well and I think the product just looks absolutely beautiful so I am actually pretty darn excited for this launch and I'm just kind of on the fence on whether or not I want to pick up that beautiful shimmery shadow from Kylie or if I want to get this guy because I don't really feel like I need both of them granted I don't feel like I need either of them but I'm definitely not gonna pick up both of them so I'm just on the fence of which one I personally want more. Let me know in the comments which one you would prefer me to try here in a video and I will make my decision based on that because I am clearly not capable of making my own decisions when it comes to picking one or the other as far as makeup goes because I want both. But I am sure that this video has been way too long. It was meant to be a short and sweet video but short and sweet clearly does not exist in my world. So we are just going to go ahead and wrap it up at that but let me know in the comments as you guys always do what are you going to be purchasing for this week? What new makeup releases have you seen that you think I should know about and let me know if you would prefer me to pick up those new Kylie little jelly 
foiled creamy eyeshadows or if you want me to go ahead and pick up the indie brand Starfire Cosmetics' jelly shadows, let me know because I am very indecisive clearly and I would love to bring you a video on whichever one you guys decide. I would love to bring you guys a video using the product that you would prefer that I pick up. So leave that in the comments below. But if you are interested in seeing Pay or Stay Away every single Monday and being in check with all the new makeup releases, or at least most of the new makeup releases because I can't keep track of all of them. I don't know how anyone keeps track of all of them. There's way too many releases. My head would explode if I had to keep track of all of them. <laughs> but nonetheless, hit that subscribe button down below if you are interested in seeing one of these videos every single week. And if you enjoy Pay or Stay Away, then I would absolutely love it if you gave me a big old thumbs up. It helps out the channel. It helps out small YouTubers. So if you choose to do so, then I greatly appreciate it. But I hope that you are having an absolutely amazing and beautiful day wherever you are. And thank you so much for spending your time here today and you know sitting through this long ass video i really appreciate it and i hope to see you next time bye